Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like, share, and subscribe if you feel the vibe. Stick around for a minute to see if you feel the vibe. If you do, hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when new downloads upload. If you are a new sub, thank you for your subscription. I really do appreciate your energy and your good vibes. We're going to use my decks. I have two new decks. They'll be available for sale online soon, which is a Soul Flame deck and a Hip Hop Animal Spirits deck. We're going to use those two decks along with my Hip Hop Tarot deck and the Sex Magic Tarot just to add a little kick to Soul Full Sunday. Gemini energy. I popped the air element. We had already did Libra. So we did Aquarius. Now Gemini is up next. I was going to lay off the air, but let me just get this reading out. Ten of Pentacles. This is for those that are in soul flame unions. Big soul flame energy. Two of Cups. Those who are in separation, those who are in union that may feel like you are distant from your mate at this time, maybe having a growth spurt, going through a winter season, fall season, you know. And this is for people that are calling in their soul flames. That you never met, but you feel that they're there and you're calling them in. Some of y'all are going to get justice on that. But you're calling in, you're going to receive. Some of y'all just had a power. And now, what's going to follow the tower is good karma, karmic justice, the fool. Some of y'all are dealing with an Aquarius or a Gemini, like yourselves. Big star nowhere energy. <laughs> Even if you you are within a union, you know people say, "Don't you just want to start over?" They say, "Yeah, let's start over." And the three of Pentacles. long-term success doing it different this time being dedicated you know to something some people could be looking towards marriage deciding to take the plunge <laughs> some Gemini's are laughing at life right now it's turning out for you. Huh? <laughs> what you thought and what actually happened. You eventually get there though. You know where it all comes together. Some of y'all are working on being more transparent and taking more risks. Love is a risk, you know? Trusting in the divine, trusting in the universe, understanding you got options, but wanting who you want. Queen of Wine, Eight of Chalices. Some of y'all may be dealing with a fire sign energy or cancer. Eight of Swords. Yeah, stuff going on. Let's see. Sometimes I show the bottom of the cards and sometimes I don't. I know why people are like, why she do that? It's that way. Because I'm trying to build trust between me and those who are subscribed to my channel to get this good info. Ten of Cups, Justice. Some of y'all got somebody in the palm of your hands, and eating out the palm of your hands, and and it's a whole ass justice situation. Mm -hmm. They want you in the worst way. A renewed union, yeah. Cater to your soul flame out of the blue. Some of y'all choosing to do it different. If you're leaving something and going towards something you've been in separation with, it's gonna be a com completely different vibe. You know, because you're really attracted to this energy. Like you met him over and over, like you meet him for the first time over and over again. It's a real passionate energy. And a real healing energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's say soul flames need a time apart. So some of y'all are in separation. They're going to be coming back together. It's your person. It's back. You know, don't worry. They coming. Mm-hmm. They coming back. 
Some of y'all is married and in separation. They coming back to start anew. Some people are just, you know, met their person and went through the separation period. Now you're coming back. And may end up married. But it's going to be a whole ass vibe. Endless love vibes. Mm -hmm, Jimmy. <laughs> Didn't think it would turn out that way, did you, Jimmy? Y'all sitting on the top of this deck. Tell me what? Yes. Big power couple energy, okay. And something gonna be in this hip hop animal spirit today. I don't know what, but it's gonna expose y'all to something. So let's see what. We had the throat chakra be on divine feminine. So let's see where divine feminine is coming from, divine masculine energies. And then we had her solar plexus going upwards so that she could be confident in what she's saying. Sometimes you need your ego. Got to remind these fools. Clear quartz on both of your crown chakras so that you're in total and complete alignment and the messages are going to come across to me loud and clear. Amplified, clarified. Got the egg gate. Slate of egg gate. Get through them portals and filters, you know. People be having guards up. She will not read me. I will if you get on this channel. Everybody missing good morning, Texas and new Texas. New 60. This person going to be having you having a honey-do list. Honey, can you do this? And honey, can you do that? People, you were, people were saying you were crazy for thinking we were soul flames. I know you're not because I see it now. I'm going to text you when you least expect it. Are you willing to leave the past in the past? The same cards keep popping. So a lot of people on the same way and on their way back. They just want to know a few things before they get down. This bitch is crazy and refuses to let go. Some of y'all getting karmic justice. Somebody else, y'all was in separation or something was keeping y'all in separation. Oh, of course, the karmic energy. Somebody ain't want to let go. I'm not coming back this lifetime. It's just too much. For some of y'all, this person is not coming back this lifetime. It's just too much to deal with. It's for some of y'all. They the fool. They don't want a divorce. They don't want nothing. They divorce is final. Some of these energies, they finally divorced. And they'll be damned if they recommit in anything else. Okay? So, some people ain't coming back. Okay? And they made that clear. I am an Aries, so if somebody is an Aries, I am a Aries. Okay, so y'all dealing with an Aries. Okay, that went left, but it makes plenty sense. Somebody saying, why did you stop texting them? They love your Texas. Some of y'all may be from Texas. They said the answer was going to be in this deck, so let's see. And this is, I'm not coming back this lifetime. I'm finally divorced. That's not for everybody, but for somebody, this energy, enjoy the time they have with you, but they're making a choice and decision not to return. And yeah, they was your soul plan. They said it's just too much. I'm not coming back this lifetime. It's just too much. They finally divorced. Now, what Spirit told me about this card is that sometimes people will say that because that's where you're at in the separation journey. However, fate or destiny will have it where they will be returning, but that's just how they feel it right now. Look, I'm finally divorced. I ain't even effing with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm free from all control. Because when you get divorced, it hit different. It really do. Because you'll be looking like, I ain't dealing with nobody right now. I got to work on me. 
For real, that's how it is. I ain't going, I ain't going. I ain't going. I understand. I was in separation from somebody that was, you know, I had a vibe with, but that's about it, and I'm done. That's how they feel right now for somebody. If you can't find a way, create a path. Pathfinder energy for uh, 41. Some of y'all may have just came out of this energy and created a path. Some of y'all may have been. A decision y'all was stuck in or y'all couldn't find a way out of something 2020 and 2021 and now you're starting to see that you created a path out of something that you felt like you couldn't you couldn't went no way you know ain't no way but there's a wheel there is a way you hear me gemini you have to depend on yourself at this time. Self-reliance. Okay? So, this is for somebody. Somebody is leaving somebody. Okay? They drove them fucking crazy. They finally got their divorce. They're not coming back this lifetime. This is their mindset right now. Okay? So, you got to be self-reliant at this time. This bitch is crazy. She won't let go. So it was somebody that was dealing with that was really, really crazy. They have to heal from that. So some of y'all are in the beginning stages of separation. You know? They finally divorced. Yes, they are. However, they feel like they ain't, they ain't dealing with nobody right now. Even though they know you a whole ass vibe in the mood. Okay? You're entering a season of abundance. Keep your palms up and your thoughts high vibe on a nine and a four. You do the math. 13. Wealth card. Yeah, this person on a whole different vibe. Mm hmm. They feel free after leaving this energy. But, however, it's 10 of chalices. This is when I said somebody got a honey-do list going on. Scorpio may be involved in this. This person ran this person like that. They ran them crazy, for real. However, it's coming across, too, that it's going to be a 10 of cups that happens. And the person going to be carrying a honey-do list. And they ain't going to mind going to the snow party, Okay. But they was in a situation like this where the person was crazy and wouldn't let go. person was codependent, clearly. That's for somebody. They know you a whole mood, too, for somebody. Some y'all could be doing all the Aries, like I said, but they know you a whole mood. And they know you somebody to settle down with. But this person could have lost a lot of money in this marriage and they're going, they're free now, so they about to they about to um, approach life differently. It's almost like this person is crazy. I don't know if any Gemini's out there thinking like this, but it's like this person, they so free from this energy, but the only good memory they have is of you, so they just going to hold on to that. And keep the mindset of, you know, they ain't coming back this lifetime. They definitely not coming back the li this lifetime. So, you can read this another way. Somebody saying they not going back to their ex. If you think that, they not going, they not never going back to their person in this lifetime. They was too much. They was just too much. I'm finally divorced. You see how they can read all kinds of different ways. <laughs> but they, this person working their mind different. They keeping you as a memory to keep them motivated towards something. But they saying they not looking back because they trying to rebuild their life in a different way. In a totally different way. But you the person that's on their mind. And they get there when they ready. But right now they in the mind said, I ain't never, I ain't going back nowhere. I ain't doing nothing. I don't want to. I'm about to build this well. I'm about to hit my life differently. I'm free. I ain't got with say friends. Do something different. Because ain't nobody depending on them like that. Like that person was. 
be more assertive, self-mastery on the nine. Y'all got a lot of self-mastery, self-reliance, self-energy going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not having, being in a singular energy for some of y'all that's in waiting. That could be waiting on the Aries to come back. Y'all are cougar type energies. You know they call it cougar at a certain age. You learning self-reliance and self-mastery because some of y'all used to probably being booed up. Mm -hmm. Like this. But not necessarily getting along with the energy. And ain't no roles. You know, just a comfortable. You've been with the person, but it's just what didn't work out. But that's how you work with the people that you were with. Some of y'all could have been with the Aries for real. Or Pisces. Some of y'all got birthdays on the 3rd of June. Mm-hmm. And this person is saying they're not looking back. They learning how to be more assertive, too. Yes, this person is on some freedom shit. I'm trying to tell y'all. Okay, choose a path that feels more liberating, and that's what they're doing. They're choosing the path, big Mia X energy, that feels more liberating. Some of y'all, some of them may be a horse in the Chinese zodiac. Mm hmm Yeah. Some of y'all been free. Some of y'all been single. Some of y'all life is... And y'all doing what they're moving towards. So you can't be mad. Karmic justice, divorces is final. Freedom, liberation, wealth. Being more assertive, learning how to rely on oneself instead of being dependent on other people that can't let go. You know? Being or being like other people that can let go, so that's the that are codependent. This person is like, literally, I'm not coming back. They don't even care. They could not, you know, that's how they feel right now. That's the choice they made. That's why I said that. Freedom. That's the path that feels more liberating. They saying that to the person they leaving, so I'm not coming back. <laughs> Tell you, get put your mother on the phone. Yeah, I ain't never coming home no more. Holy fool, okay. That could be some of y'all. Mm -hmm. Now this person, now that this person, somebody got hit in the pockets in a divorce. But now that this person is free, they're seeing their freedom more valuable than money. So now they're about to apply a certain type of strategy to their lives that bring them more wealth than they had with who they was with. That was really draining their source. So they see whatever money that person get a month, if it's alimony or whatever money that they lost, they don't really look at it as a loss. They look at it as a lesson. Now they on some other shit a blessing they could you know rebuilding they selves themselves totally different <laughs> so you gotta depend on you can't even in this type of situation for whoever this is for you can't even this could happen within a union that's what spirit said this could happen for people that's in a commitment one of the mates to just have a growth spurt or just something happens that rearranges them to just Confront life differently, where you know that it's something that they got to go through alone, and you got to be self reliant during that transformative time. Some people, shit, let's separate. I need my space, whatever, whatever. And then something happens, energy ends up coming back together. But at that time, they're choosing a path of liberation, and they say what they say. All right, y'all. This been y'all reading Gemini. This is pretty interesting. If you feel the vibe, subscribe. Love and light. Have a beautiful Sunday.